You know, you really uh, do have a great show tonight. I uh, really want to welcome our first guest. Uh, he uh, is responsible for distributing all arts grants across the country. From the National Arts Council, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Laurence Papillon. Dr. Laurence Papillon. Thank you, Colin. Um, it, it's, it's actually a papillon. Um, but you can just call me Larry. Oh, I'm sorry, Larry. Also, I'm not a doctor. But you are from the Arts Council, right? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay, it just says, it says you're a doctor on the website. Yeah, uh, we like to exaggerate a little bit. Uh, I actually dropped out after the fourth grade. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, uh, we, uh, uh, I would say that I, I do know art, though. It's, uh, it's instinct. I'm what you ca might call a fancy barbarian. <laughs> Do you mean a noble savage? Sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're from the Arts Council. Let me ask you a simple question, Larry. What is sure. art? You don't know? It, it's like paintings and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, but, but, but what's, the, what's the deeper meaning? You know, people think that you, know, you are personally responsible for defining art in this country. You famously gave a grant uh, to Michael Snow, director of Wavelength, which was an art film that was just a 45-minute zoom in on an empty room. Yeah, Mike said to me that he could make things in the camera big without moving the camera. So I told him to put his money where his mouth is. Okay. So you also uh, started what is called the uh, Digital Arts Grant, sure. uh, which is awarded to works on the web and uh, even video games. I like video games. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too, you know, they've become such uh, great tools for creative expression. I mean, uh, let me ask you, Larry, what's a video game that you would consider to be art? Uh, Mrs. Pac-Man. <laughs> Mrs. Pac-Man, why is that? She's like the girl version of Pac-Man. <laughs> okay, but, but what's the deeper meaning? What does that video game say to you? Oh, lots of things. Fruit is good. You should run away if you see a ghost. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what, uh, let's move on to something else. Uh, Larry, I have a few images here and I'd really okay. like you to take a look at them. These are some of my favorite works of art. And I just want you to look at these images and just break them down for us and tell us what you see there. Sure. First up, Botticelli's Primavera. Is this right. art? Oh, it's a good photograph. I don't know if it's art, though. Okay, it's not a photograph. It's painting, so, uh... Am I crazy, or is that lady getting chased by a ghost? <laughs> no, I... That is not a ghost. I, I, she should run away from the ghost. Okay. Okay, let's just... Well, you know what? Let's just try... Let's just try a different painting. What the... Oh, okay, this... No, that's not... I like it. Oh, God, why does that not surprise me? You know, I think uh, dogs playing cards is one of the four great subjects for art. What are the other three? Uh, boats, naked ladies, and uh, toddlers getting their underwears pulled down by puppies. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's, uh, you know what, then let's, uh, let's try a painting that you might actually get into, okay? okay. Venus of Urbino. I like it. That's a painting. <laughs> All right, yes, actually, you know what? A lot of art critics uh, say that this is a very intriguing piece because the subject is not painted as being passive. In fact, her gaze is almost quite engaging. She also has nice boobies. Okay, <laughs> let's just, okay, let's just try, uh, let's just try something a little different here. Okay, some, something, something's not right on the screen. No, it's not, everything's fine with the screen. This is a rendering by Arkeel Gorky. Who's that, your kid? No, he's not. No, he's, no, he's a famous abstract impressionist. You do that with crayons? I think so. Oh, okay. What's it called? It's untitled. Oh, I would have called it Squiggle These Eagles. That's fair, that's fair, I understand. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's try something a little more controversial. I don't want to offend anyone, but let's move on to the last piece here. Andre Serrano's Piss Christ. 
Oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Yeah. No, that's not, again, I don't know who made the slideshow, that's not the right image. People. No, this no, is hold on, Colin. I think that is the right image. Here we have a famous musician depicted on black velvet. <laughs> velvet that he himself may have worn as a costume. Is Elvis wearing the velvet, or is the velvet wearing Elvis? <laughs> We're forced to ask, but it, it's a distraction. The costumes, the music, the fame, it's, it's all nothing, because he still looks out at the world through those, those two naked arms. Same as anyone. And they betray a simple message, Colin. That even a king is still just a man. Wow, there it is. Colin, I'm sorry, I can't answer any more questions. <laughs> I have to find the man who painted this. And I need to give him $10,000. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, give it up for Larry Papillon, everybody.